In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a color ID map in 3D Studio Max and Maya. A color ID map is essentially just flat colors that represent different materials. These flat colors will be turned into fully fledged smart materials in Didu automatically. So to install Quixel colors in Maya, all you have to do is go to Windows, General Editors, and Script Editor. Select the Python tab, and then click File, Load Script. Next, navigate to the Colors directory inside Suite 2.0. Open maya-run.py. Make sure that the directory on line 2 is correct. If you have installed Suite 2.0 to its default directory, this should be fine. And finally, press Ctrl, Enter, or hit the Play button. If you want to be able to access Colors easier, simply select the script and middle mouse drag it to where you want it on your shelf. To use colors, simply select the mesh or part of the mesh you want to assign an ID to and click the material type that you want from the list. Here I assign a black painted metal to the entire mesh. Let's assign a material on a component level as well, and I'll speed this part up a bit. Let's render out our color ID map. We'll do this using Turtle, which is integrated in Maya 2014 and up. Colors will get a render feature soon, or depending on when you watch this video, it already has it. In case you don't see it in your list, you have to enable it through the plugin manager. In the Turtle tab, make sure you set the render type to Baking, and under the Baking tab, set it to Render to Texture. Enable orthogonal reflections, set your desired resolution, and where you want to save it. Also, make sure to check Merge to One Map and Save to File. It is recommended that you use the PNG format for color ID maps for the best results. Next, select your mesh and hit Render. And there we go! Let's take a look at how to set up Quixel colors and make your ID maps in 3D Studio Max as well. So to install Quixel colors in 3D Studio Max, simply go to the Utilities tab or the small hammer icon on the top right of the command panel. Select Max Script and Run Script. Next, navigate to Colors directory and run maxrun.ms. And there we go! To assign colors in 3D Studio Max, you use the exact same workflow as you do in Maya. Simply select the mesh or part of the mesh you want to assign the ID to, select the material type you want to assign, and click it. The 3D Studio Max version of Quixel Colors has a built-in baking feature already in place, so all you have to do is select the folder you want to save it to, select the mesh, and hit render. I'm now ready to use my new color ID map in Didu. Then, when I select my ID preset in Didu, all my color IDs will automatically be converted to a full-fledged smart material. This enables me to create a high-quality texture base completely automatically with a single click, allowing me to spend all my texturing time purely on polishing. I really hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.